Man, don't let the news of Peyton Manning and ESPN reaching a nine-year agreement to continue the Manning cast distract you from the real breaking news that we got right here because the Baltimore Ravens, they made a contract of their own and they are signing Deontay Hardy, return specialist to a one-year deal. Let's read the reports from Tom Pelissero and then the more personal report from our guy Jeff Sreben. Goes as follows. Tom Pelissero said, former All-Pro return man and wide receiver Deontay Hardy is signing with the Ravens on a one-year deal per me and rap sheet. So, one-year deal, Ravens like, look, show us. Show us. We know that what you can do. Time to show the world what you can do and help us finish the job. Jeff Zerebic said, it'll be a homecoming for wide receiver slash return specialist Deontay Hardy, who has agreed to a one-year deal with the Ravens. That's Tom Pelissero and Rap Sheet first reported. It's always important when reporters give their credit where credit is due. If somebody else got the story first, if somebody else got the news first, give them their credit. And Jeff Sreepik always does that. I love when reporters do that. They show that respect. Anyway, continuing. He said, Hardy is a Baltimore native who started at Archbishop Curley. Hardy becomes the favorite to replace Devin DuVernay as Ravens return man. And as we all know, Devin DuVernay, uh, he is taking his talents not to South Beach. He ain't going way down south, but I believe he'd signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So he's going to be Duval Duvernay. So that should be real fun to see how that works itself out. Now, Jeremy Fowler, um, he also reported this deal, and he has something that was very interesting to say. He said, players like this, like Deontay Hardy, they have added, va they have added value with the new kickoff rules. Uh, and a lot of these players have seen their interest spike since the league passed a new format in late March. Because uh, remember, remember with the, the, the Steelers, uh, as soon as this new kickoff league, I mean, this new kickoff rule was announced, they signed Cordero Patterson that same day. So they ain't into a deal that same day. So Ravens, you know, like Eric DeCosta said in yesterday's presser, he talked about it. He said, hey, I got a special teams coach. So our special teams got to be on point. And Deontay Hardy, he can help make that happen uh with De Deontay Hardy uh with him playing for the Baltimore Ravens he get to play at, his cri at the crib so that's special in itself because he can be a hometown hero oh hold up I think we got a new nickname for our guy Deontay Hardy hometown hero Hardy we're gonna call him Triple H Perfect. Triple H, hometown hero Hardy. And we can liken him to Triple H because just like Cody, he's going to help the Baltimore Ravens finish the story. Now continuing. In yesterday's video where we covered Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh's annual pre-draft presser, a.k.a. the Liars Luncheon, we made a bold prediction in that video. What was that bold prediction? Well, let me refresh your memories. We said that we thought and think that the Baltimore Ravens, before the draft, are going to make at least three more moves. Now, when you think about that and you say that out loud, it sounds kind of crazy, right? Them making three more moves, especially how slow they've been moving this offseason, especially with all the holes that they got on a team, that would be a lot because they ain't really been doing much of anything, especially recently. But so far, with this move, we're one for three. So just two more moves at least, Ravens. You, if you want to do more, be our guest. But they making at least two more, two more moves. You heard it here second. And I say you heard it here second because in yesterday's video, that's when you heard it first. But anyway, uh, Deontay Hardy, I think, um, and, and on a more serious note, him playing at home, that can really spark somebody like crazy. That can really just rejuvenate the way that somebody feels about playing whatever they playing if they playing in front of family if they playing for where they're from that can really give them this extra added motivation like crazy because they can look around and they can be like oh yeah i'm home they can look around see their mom see their dad see their brother see their sister see their cousin see their aunt see their uncle see whoever and be like oh yeah i'm putting on for them and then to take it a step further they can think about the community where they grew up at. They can think about kids that may be living where they used to live at. They can be thinking about what it's like being from there. And they can think about how they can inspire the next person. Like, oh, I, I made it from where I'm from. Hopefully I can inject 
this into somebody else and they can make it from where they from. And maybe they'll get an opportunity to play in the city where they're from too. So this is a real special uh, occasion, in my opinion, for Deontay Hardy. This is a uh, significant signing. The Baltimore Ravens, they obviously had a hole on the roster when they lost uh, Devin Duvernay. That presented a challenge. And like we've all talked about before, uh, it was a lot of mixing and matching back at the kick return uh, position. At punt return, it was pri- I mean, primarily it was Devin Duvernay. But they did a little mix and match. Sometimes they would have Justice Hill back there. And then, of course, Devin Duvernay, he got hurt. Uh, I think he had, what was it, a back injury? Whatever injury it was, he was out for a little bit. Tylen Wallace came in, and he went and killed it in that Rams game. His first punt return ever, and he went and took it to the house. I said, like, yeah, there we go, baby. But um, we obviously had a need there. Uh, but that need is taken care of. And I like it, too, because... They could go. They could have went into the draft without having filled this position, but it get, it would have given you one more thing to sort of worry about because going into the draft, because you don't necessarily draft a return specialist. You draft somebody who can return, but they usually may specialize in another area. Usually, it'll be a wide receiver. Uh, it could be a running back. It could be a cornerback. It could be whoever. But you don't normally draft a guy who is just a return specialist he's usually doing something else on the football team as well but now that you got this handle you got this taken care of you ain't even gotta look for somebody to be all right let's draft this guy because he's a real good he's a good corner but he's a real good return specialist so you ain't even gotta worry about that so this just makes life easier for Eric Acosta and the Baltimore Ravens as they head into uh the draft and with this move um it'll be different But I think it'll be different in a good way because we saw with Devin DuVernay, like the same thing we always talk about with Devin DuVernay, straight line speed, amazing. He got it. He's fast. But when it comes to cutting, when it comes to making people miss, that wasn't his specialty. And that's fine because he obviously did a good enough job. Devin DuVernay was all pro, all pro return man. So not just pro bowl, but all pro is a higher honor than pro bowl because all pro it says it doesn't say that you were just popular. That's the Pro Bowl. But All Pro says you were among the best of the best that year. So Devin Duvernay got All Pro before. Now Deontay Hardy, he also got All Pro before. So that says a lot about him as well. But with Devin Duvernay, again, straight line speed there. But with Deontay Hardy, he got the straight line speed. I don't know if it's as much as, as Devin Duvernay, but he got some good straight line speed. But he wiggly too. He's shifty too. He gonna make somebody miss too. And with him, he's smaller than Devin DuVernay. He's a little lower to the ground than Devin DuVernay. So that can make it even harder to tackle him. He might get lost. Like, there might be a pile. There might be all this stuff going on over here on special teams, on the kickoff return. But Deontay Hardy might be over here. Hey, take it to the house. Let's go. Six. And something that we uh, brought up before, too, when they had Deontay Hardy on a visit, these guys are game changers. Return specialists, they are game changers. Now, although it doesn't happen too often, there are still some games where all Baltimore Ravens, they are, all offense, they, they may not be putting up the points or putting up the yards or just they may not be doing their thing like we used to them doing. It, again, it doesn't happen too often, but it does happen sometimes. And this is where, like, look, the, the return specialists, they can change all of that. Because the defense could be putting in work. The defense could be holding up offense, the opposing offense down. But if the offense ain't scoring, like the defense could be like, oh, my goodness, what are these guys doing? Defense forced a three and out. You break, up, break off a big punt return. And that's the thing. You ain't even got to score. You ain't even got to score. But you get a good enough punt return that puts you in good field position. Boom, that changes the game. That injects life into your offense. That injects continued life into your defense. And that injects hope. Into the fan base as well And y'all know Us as Ravens fans right now Especially after that AFC championship A lot of Ravens fans have lost a lot of hope in this team They really have A lot of Ravens fans They do not believe in the Baltimore Ravens uh, All the way right now A lot of Ravens fans feel like Oh boy it's just going to be a lot of the same old stuff It's going to be a repeat Of the same stuff that's been going on for years With the Baltimore Ravens So this is an important move This is not the end all be all But this is certainly a positive move uh, in the right direction. So I'm looking forward to it. 
Um, we talked about how it can inject life in the offense and the defense. And that could be another thing, too. It doesn't even got to be in games where the offense is struggling. Because a good return, man, they, they just do so much for the team. Say, for instance, the offense going crazy. Say, for instance, the offense is going wild in a good way. And say they, they just crushing the team. The game ain't even close. A return man, they could be they could be the dagger. They could crush a team after that. Like you, you say your offense put up like thirty some points. Opposing a uh, team, they only got like fourteen or something. And they trying, they fighting, they kicking, they scratching, clawing their way back in the game. They trying, and then oh, their their quarterback threw an incompletion on third down. Now they got to punt the ball. They punt the ball. Good return man, take it back to the house. Oh man, that, that's the dagger. Oh well, that'll be your game, folks. So. A return man is just that, a return specialist, because they are special at returning. Uh, and hopefully Deontay Hardy can take a lot of the, uh, uh, the kicks back for touchdowns, take a lot of punts back for touchdowns. I know it's obviously easier said than done. It, it is for sure. But this is part of the formula. This is part of the recipe uh, that it's going to take for the Baltimore Ravens uh, to finish the job.